Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, the beating heart of the Middle East. Now imagine something colossal rising from its core, the Mukab, a cube so massive it redefines architectural limits, 400 meters tall, 400 meters wide, 400 meters deep, enough to swallow three great pyramids of Giza with room to spare. Saudi Arabia calls it the future of urban living. But is this a revolutionary step toward an ultra-modern city or a high-stakes experiment with no guarantees? Some hail it as a glimpse into the cities of tomorrow. Others warn it could be a colossal gamble that may never pay off. The world is watching. The debates are heating up. Many doubted it would ever happen. Economists questioned its financial viability. Engineers debated its structural feasibility. Skeptics saw it as an extravagant bet. But against all odds, something unexpected is happening. Construction is beginning. The construction begins February 2025. What once seemed like an audacious concept is now breaking ground. The land cleared. 19 square kilometers of it, heavy machinery, in motion. Over 10 million cubic meters of earth excavated. Deep foundation work began in January, and already 86% of the groundwork is complete. The sheer volume of materials being used? Staggering 50,000 tons of steel, enough to build five Eiffel Towers, 200,000 cubic meters of concrete, comparable to what was used in the entire Hoover Dam. The logistics? Unprecedented. Over 4,000 heavy transport vehicles operating around the clock. At its peak, construction will employ over 20,000 workers, experts from more than 30 countries. It's no longer just a vision. It's happening. But with such an enormous demand for labor and materials, can Saudi Arabia avoid the cost overruns and delays that have plagued other mega projects? Saudi Arabia isn't leaving anything to chance. It has recruited some of the most elite firms in the world to ensure success. The new Muraba Development Company, chaired by the Crown Prince, leads the project. Michael Dyke, known for overseeing high-profile mega-projects, is the CEO. Saudi Arabia is sparing no expense. World-renowned firms are on board. Atkins, the architects behind the iconic Burj Al Arab. Bechtel, the powerhouse behind the Hoover Dam and the Channel Tunnel. Buro Hapold, the engineers behind the Louvre Abu Dhabi, have been tasked with solving the structural puzzle of the macabre's unconventional cube shape. But despite this star-studded team, concerns remain. Can this project avoid the fate of previous stalled mega-projects? The King Abdullah Economic City was meant to be a futuristic business hub, yet it struggled to meet its ambition. Financial analysts warn an unprecedented project like this could strain Saudi Arabia's resources if tourism and investment projections don't materialize as expected. The Mukab is set to break records, the largest building by volume, but it's going to be ultra expensive, a $50 billion investment, or maybe more. Saudi Arabia projects, the Mukab will contribute $47 billion to its non-oil GDP by 2030. Tourism is at the center of this vision. Well, on paper, the figures look promising. The kingdom aims to lure 100 million tourists each year by 2030, a target that would catapult it into the league of global tourism giants. France? 117 million visitors in 2023. The U.S.? 79 million. Yet, the burning question remains. Can Riyadh transform into a tourism hotspot like Dubai? a city that attracted 17 million visitors in 2022. Some experts are optimistic. They argue that Saudi Arabia's religious tourism already draws millions, but the debate rages on. Is the macabre the golden ticket to unparalleled visitor numbers or a bold overreach of market demand? Consider the current impact of tourism on Saudi Arabia's economy. 2022, the tourism sector contributed $59 billion. 6.5% of GDP, 2024 projections, an increase beyond $66 billion. The goal, 10% of GDP by 2030. But can a single megastructure drive such monumental change? Some analysts argue 
The macab could elevate Riyadh's global standing to unprecedented heights, but the vision extends far beyond tourism. The macab is not just a building, it's a city within a city. 104,000 residential units, 9,000 hotel rooms, a vibrant commercial hub. When the Burj Khalifa made its debut, nearby property values skyrocketed by 30%. Could this megastructure trigger a similar economic boom? Or is the real estate market too volatile to support such a transformation? And let's not forget the workforce impact. During construction, the macabre is expected to generate 334,000 direct and indirect jobs. The crucial question, will these jobs lay the foundation for long-term prosperity or simply be a temporary surge in employment? Another challenge, can Saudi Arabia secure the billions needed Saudi Arabia's spending spree? Massive. Niam, another futuristic mega-project? $500 billion price tag, yet it has faced scrutiny over delays and funding challenges. Could the Macab face the same hurdles? The key to all of this? The Public Investment Fund. This powerhouse manages over $700 billion in assets, strategically investing in technology, infrastructure, and tourism. But here's the catch. The PIF isn't an endless well of cash. It's heavily invested in companies like Uber, Tesla, and gaming giants, assets that aren't easily liquidated. Converting these holdings into usable capital for the macabre requires careful financial maneuvering. And if markets dip -y? Saudi Arabia's ability to sustain its mega-project ambitions could be at risk. To keep these projects moving, Saudi Arabia is issuing bonds and securing foreign investment. And that's where things get complicated. 2024. Target for foreign direct investment? $29 billion? Mid-year reality? Just $9.7 billion. A major shortfall. Foreign investors are hesitant. Some experts believe Saudi Arabia's ability to sustain this level of spending hinges on global oil prices. If oil revenues dip, can Saudi Arabia maintain its vision for an ultra-modern future? But this is just the beginning. A vision this grand, this ambitious comes with risks. It's not just about building a megastructure. It's about engineering the impossible. A 400-meter cube dominating the skyline of Riyadh? It's an engineering first. Traditional skyscrapers taper for structural integrity. A massive cube? That presents challenges on an unprecedented scale. The Maqab isn't just a building. It's a self-contained world of digital and immersive environments. One of its most ambitious promises? To create interactive landscapes using cutting-edge technology. Imagine stepping inside and watching the sky shift into a cosmic nebula or an ocean panorama appearing before your eyes. But here's the question. Has this level of immersive technology ever been implemented at such a scale? The closest comparison? the MSG sphere in Las Vegas. But the macabre aims to push the boundaries even further. The MSG sphere, 2.3 billion, 112 meters wide. The macabre's digital ambitions, nearly four times larger. But here's the reality. The technology for real time, building wide holograms at this scale, does not yet exist. Advancements in artificial intelligence and augmented reality, along with smart infrastructure, may bridge the gap. But can it happen in time? Many mega-projects have promised the impossible only to become cautionary tales. Will the macabre defy the odds? Just imagine. Saudi Arabia pulls it off. The macabre stands complete. A 400-meter colossus gleaming like a portal to the future. You step inside and reality shifts. Above, the ceiling disappears. A cosmic nebula swirls, then... Suddenly, waves crash overhead. Walls transform instantly. One moment, a futuristic city. The next, an ancient world. Every surface responds into you. Holographic concerts, AI-driven cinemas. The game is the world. No screens, no limits. Race through neon streets, fight dragons, explore a cyberpunk future. All in full-scale augmented reality. Luxury beyond imagination. A hotel suite? It's anywhere you choose. Paris, a space station, a tranquil garden, all at a touch. 
Finally, you ascend to the pinnacle. The city fades below. The sky shifts. Now you're floating through the rings of Saturn. This is the Mukab, a city where imagination becomes reality. But the ultimate question remains. Will the Mukab be the crown jewel of Saudi Arabia's modernization? Or will it follow the fate of mega projects like Dubai's The World Islands? Grand in vision, but hindered by financial mismanagement, lack of demand, and engineering challenges. What do you think? Will it become the world's most profitable building? Or could it be the most expensive mistake in history? Join the debate. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Debate. Speculate. Challenge the vision. Let's make this a conversation. And if you love exploring the biggest, boldest, and most futuristic mega projects, subscribe to this channel. More groundbreaking stories are coming and you won't want to miss them because the future isn't just being imagined. It's being built right now. Thanks from the bottom of the heart for watching till the end. Thank you.